Hello, it's Leslie here again. So I thought I'd answer two questions which you might have. Uh, what does Russian Netflix look like? And do you need a VPN to learn Russian? So let's have a look at Netflix and see what it looks like. So I just changed the language. So it might, it might still be in English actually, but you'll, you'll get an idea of what's there. So this, this, uh, these, these things, some of the things still appear in, in English. But as you can see, um, we'll scroll down a bit. This is just happens to be my list. This is the top 10 in Russia today. And a lot of these shows are actually English. So this is trending. And as you can see, all of these are foreign shows. This is continue watching, so that's only for me. Only on Netflix, a lot of these are foreign shows. This is the homepage. Um, watch it again, so I've actually watched Chernobyl, and some of these others um, were from when I, before I had a VPN method. And some other languages there as well. So European TVs, you scroll, scroll down, there's still no um, local Russian content. So like there's Breaking Bad, there's all these other stuff. Now we finally get to Russian movies. So I'll open that in another tab and we'll look at it in a minute. And then there's binge worthy shows. These are all foreign, I think. Uh, documentaries, none of these are Russian. Uh, then we have young adult movies, casual viewing, all this sort of stuff, award winning films. It's, they've got, they've got Russian, um, Thumbnails, but they're not actually Russian shows quite often. So there's some starting to appear now. I think this one's Russian. I think this one's Russian. Uh, anyway, we'll just scroll to the end just to see what it's like. Suspenseful movies, comedies. There's some Russian stuff there. And then uh, Spanish stuff, stuff released in the last year. And finally get to another category, Russian movies and TV. So we'll open that in another tab and come back to it. And, and that's really like it really for, uh, other than anime and, and this sort of stuff, they're the top picks for me. It is not really any category that says Russian only TV. So that's, that's pretty much the end. I've scrolled as far as I can. So let's have a look at this other tab so here's a Russian show um, now what is this popular so some of these are Russian that's a Russian one salute seven Sim. that's a Russian one so some of these yeah they are they'll, they'll be Russian but what I find strange is there's no actual series there's, there doesn't seem to be any uh, series at all for Russian Netflix so I'm a little bit disappointed and, and and I got this VPN a couple of months ago and there wasn't even that big a selection then as there is today so they've increased the selection a little bit in the last two or three months I think even um, but still it's not there's not that many things to choose from so then there's the kids thing, then there's a few comedies here. Uh, but these are all movies and there's no series. And this is back to my list and then it's got, it's got Russian movies. Here's the Russian movies. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're back to the start again. So there's only like <laughs> seven times one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only like 40, 40 movies on the whole of Netflix, right? Uh, in Russian, I think. Um, well, as far as I know, anyway. See, for example, you look at horror movies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, and that's it. Eight. There's only eight horror movies in Russian, right? 
So it's not actually that good. Uh, and then so we'll have a look at this other tab because it's it, it, it's it's just well, quite frankly, bullshit. So um, so here's the here's the thing popular. So there's this Brad Brat movie, but everyone will have seen that in Russia already. And Beamer, I think that stands for BMW. And there's yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Seven, six, sevens of forty-two. So yeah. Uh, there are a couple of series like this. The, there's uh, that that English that American the Netflix doesn't have like this one Mongol. So there is a few, but not many. And that's a movie. That's better than us. That's already there. There's not actually that much here, as you can see. So. That's it. And as for far as comedies go, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-six. Yeah, there's there's not that many. Now, so I suggest actually um, as an alternative to go to STS or Premiere or Start. They're the ones that I've uh, listed. So you can find those um, those channels on another video of mine, but. I prefer to go to, yeah, to STS, uh, Start or Premiere to get Russian series because this is, it's pretty bad. The only, the only advantage of having Netflix is you get, you can get subtitles and then you can actually add on to that and get dual subtitles. But, uh, if the other bad thing is this Netflix didn't even work for me the last time I tried it. Like I tried to watch something and it said that it was. Uh, it detected that it was, um, it detected that it was, uh, you know, a VPN. So it didn't even work for me the last time I tried to watch something. It might even, it might, I might even be able to show you what I tried to watch. If we go to... Let's just try it. It seems to be working now, but it wasn't working for me last time. So that's a bit odd. But the good news is it's working now. I'm, I'm using Surfshark. I'm using Surfshark. And um, all you do with Surfshark is you just select your location here and click. And then you click there and it will... So you want to change to wherever you just select there and then connect and then it will be connected so yeah anyway i don't think it's worth it i don't think netflix like sorry not it's not netflix it's not worth it it's a vpn to learn russian with netflix is not worth it i don't think i don't think and also i think Netflix really needs to work a bit harder in in for their Russian customers because there's just if I was living in Russia well well I'm learning Russian but I just wouldn't I just wouldn't buy Russian Netflix if I wanted to watch Russian television I wouldn't buy it I'm only buying it for foreign shows but you know there's obviously there's going to be a lot of Russian people who are not interested in foreign shows they're interested in Russian shows of course so, yeah, they're going to have to work a bit harder, I think. Anyway, so I was a little bit disappointed in the content from, from Russia, like Russian Netflix. 
Anyway, that's all I have today for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.